Hi, and welcome to Richland Community Library presents How to Get Started Using Hoopla Digital. Hoopla is a service that allows you to access ebooks, e audiobooks, streaming content, and more. In this video, we will be covering how to register using your library card, searching specific titles, authors, and subjects, browsing selections by format, downloading titles and viewing them, editing settings, and accessing bonus content. After viewing this how-to video, if you are still having difficulty accessing Hoopla Digital, please contact the library and we can provide further assistance. First thing, if you haven't done this already, just go to your app store and download the Hoopla Digital app. Open the app and sign up for an account. You're going to click sign up at the bottom and you're going to enter in an email address and the designated password. To find your library, you can either use your GPS in your phone or you can search Richland Community Library. Make sure you're clicking on the one in Michigan. You will then be prompted to enter in your library card number. Upon seeing the welcome screen, you will be redirected to your main page. This will be your quick access point to items you have currently borrowed, items you've borrowed in the past, and items that are in your favorites. These are able to be accessed with the menu at the top by simply clicking into them. If you are looking for a particular title, author, or subject, you can go ahead and use the search bar at the very bottom menu. So you've clicked into the magnifying glass for the search and you're able to type in what you're looking for. I'm going to be super general and I'm just going to type in the word dog. Obviously, there is going to be tons of items with the word dog in them. So this is my opportunity to use the filter to narrow down my search. The easiest way to narrow down is to start with the format. By clicking on format, it allows me to choose what type of item I'm looking for. In this case, I'm going to select audiobooks. This will, of course, narrow down my selection quite substantially, but there's still a lot of titles so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the filter and narrow it down a little bit more. I'm actually going to narrow it down by language and opt to choose a Spanish audiobook. Based on the filters I've selected, these are all of the Spanish audiobooks with the word dog in them. When I find one I'm interested in, I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the cover. I can browse the record to find a synopsis of what the book is about, as well as how long it checks out for, and more details. Notice that all of the words in blue are links, so I can go ahead and tap on any blue words to get more information about the author, or publisher, or subject matter. this is a title I'm interested in, but I don't have the time to listen to it now, I'm going to go ahead and hit the heart and add it to my favorites. However, if I want to listen to it now, I'm going to go ahead and hit borrow. If I'm more interested in browsing the selection of titles rather than looking something up, I'm going to use the menu at the very bottom of the screen. I'm going to select books first. Books will house anything that includes audio, comic, and ebooks. When you click on the tab, you are going to be able to browse by featured item, items that have been highlighted, items that are new to the catalog, and so forth. There's also a quick button to access genres and collections that Hoopla has put together for the time of the month or the time of the year, or just based on items they wanna highlight. Going back to the tabs at the top, I can go ahead and click into the comic section and also the ebook section. Again, items that are organized by topics, genres, highlighted lists, and more. 
going back to the menu at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to click into video. Video will encompass movies and television shows. Much like the book section, they will be highlighted into different lists, as well as an option to choose from genres and collections. Something to keep in mind about the television section is the episodes count as a single checkout. So if I select a series, I have to check out each episode individually. Unfortunately, this means that I can only check out five episodes per month. Going back to the audiobook that I borrowed earlier, it is important to distinguish the difference between borrowing and downloading. Right now the item is borrowed, but I have to have internet in order to listen to it. What I'm going to want to do is download the item temporarily to my device so that I can listen to it on the car ride on a trip. To do this, I'm just going to go ahead and hit download. After a few seconds, the item will be downloaded temporarily to my device and I will be able to access it when I do not have the internet. When I click into play, it's going to give me the audiobook and it's going to give me quite a few options to play the audiobook. This includes jumping around to the different chapters, skipping back and forth, even changing the playback speed if I want to listen to the book a bit faster feel free to play around with these settings. Another feature you'll notice at the top is the car setting. This just makes it easier to browse and to jump forward if you're listening to it while driving. After the designated checkout time, the audiobook will automatically return itself. However, if I'd like to return it early, I can go back to the main page and I can scroll down to return this item. It is important to note that once an item is returned, the temporary download will delete off of your device. This is an example of an ebook that I downloaded. I clicked into the cover and this is what I see. From here, I have the option of playing around with different features, including jumping around in chapters of the book and playing around with the font, size, color, shape, etc. Hoopla has a couple of settings that you might be interested in learning how to use. To access them, you're going to hit the toggle in the right hand corner. The very first option is a simple tap for child setting. This is a really quick way to change the selection from adult materials to just children's materials. Another way to easily access this is to tap where it says kids in the left corner. Tapping it once will turn it on, tapping it again will turn it off. Other settings include your personal settings. This is a quick way to change your password, as well as library settings, which is where you can change your library card number or find another library. Another setting would be notifications. The final option is to link this to a streaming device. This would be if you wanted to sync up your account to your smart television. Our recommendation is to check the manual on your smart TV to see how to do this. Finally, we're going to cover how to access bonus content. Bonus content is a service that Hoopla has just recently rolled out. To access it, you're going to select more from the bottom menu of the screen. This will take you to their binge passes. Binge passes count as only one checkout but allow you access to unlimited services for a set amount of time. Binge magazines, for example, count as one checkout, but allow you to access unlimited magazines for seven days. Link through the record will give you more information about these binge passes, including an explanation, as well as a list of content that will be available if you opt to check out the binge pass. Once I borrow the item and hit play, it will take me to a third party website that will give me unlimited access to the magazine list for seven days. The final bonus content feature that Hoopla offers is something called bonus borrows. 
To access these lists, you're gonna go ahead and click the collections and genres option, and you're going to see the bonus borrows listed by month. Unfortunately, Hoopla doesn't tell you ahead of time when these months are. Instead, you will get an email at the beginning of the month letting you know it is a bonus borrows month. February happens to be one, so we can go ahead and click in the bonus borrows list. All the items listed in these lists are able to be checked out without counting towards your five circulating borrows. While Hoopla is a great service that is free with your library card, like many things, there are pros and cons. Some of the pros consist of not having to wait for checkout availability, having items more than just books available, no overdue fines as items return themselves, being able to stream through your smart television, and being able to download bonus content like bonus borrows and magazines. Some of the cons include only having a five checkout limit per calendar month and having a not so great collection of brand new titles. We have other services including Libby by Overdrive, so I encourage you to check that out as well and to weigh the pros and cons of both services. Thank you for watching this video today. We hope you learned something. If you have any issues accessing Hoopla or any other library service, please contact the library by phone, email, or by stopping in, and a library staff member will be happy to help you.